Hello. Um, I just had a question. You cited economic incentives as one of the uh, main drivers of future exploration in space. Uh, I was just wondering if you could see uh, corporations being at the forefront of space exploration as opposed to the governments of the world. That will never happen, yeah. ever. <laughs> Another delusional point that I make in the book. There are all these people saying, let corporations do it. Even Newt Gingrich, while he's pandering, as politicians do regionally, to the space community of Florida, where you find Kennedy Space Center, he said, let's get corporations up there, and then it was, it was the rah-rah, all right? No, 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 anytime, this is important. You all see it, you see it, except people wind up. If something is expensive, which space exploration is, if something is dangerous, which space exploration is, if something has unmeasured risks, which space exploration is. It cannot be done by private enterprise because you cannot create a capital markets valuation of it. You can't, I'm just saying, you can. The way it works is I'm looking for investors. What's my return on my investment? Here's the risks, here's the cost, here's the rate of return. You cannot do that for something that expensive and that dangerous that you've never done before. You cannot get investors for that. You could never have gotten investors for that. Columbus was paid by governments. He drew the maps. He found out where the trade winds are. He found out where the hostile folks are, where he landed, and where the happy folks are. He found out where the wood supply was to fix his boats. Then he goes back, the maps are understood, then comes the Dutch East India Trading Company. <laughs> the railroads across the country, somebody had to acquire that land. It was called the government. Somebody had to figure out where the good Indians were and the bad Indians were. Somebody had to figure out where the mountains and the valleys were. That was started with Thomas Jefferson and, and, and Lewis and Clark and other expeditions that went out there. You draw the maps, then private enterprise comes. So, what role would or could likely private enterprise play? Where the patents have already been granted and the risks are assessed and the dangers are understood, that would be lower orbit. NASA's been there, done that. It's still dangerous, but we understand the dangers. We can quantify them. Sure, let NASA pay a private enterprise to, to take us to the space station. I don't have a problem with that. Let private enterprise take tourists into orbit. I don't have a problem with that. Let, let it happen. We, 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 we live in a free market society. Free market should go wherever an investment pays a return. And if that includes space, let it be so. But if my read of the history of human conduct tells me it will never be the frontier of space. That will always need to be reserved for the wisdom of governments. Yeah. Uh, two part question.